I took a little bit of time off the car, went and out of state visited some family, and then we came back and we had some family come and visit. So, uh, but now we're back on the car, and uh, so I signed up for a race in October. October 6th is the race, and uh, so today's August 7th, so definitely got a lot of work to do. So, so plan is to hopefully try to get this thing done in six weeks, that way I'll have a week or two to actually drive it and get used to it, uh, you know, because it's going to be a standard now, you know, it's going to be a five-speed versus automatic, so be a little bit of a learning curve there on what the car wants. So, uh, yeah, so we got to get after it uh, today, going to try to get the hot side and get the headlight buckets and everything welded up and get all that stuff on, so then uh, once that's on, I can, I'm probably going to go ahead and do the wiring and uh, get it all wired up, and then we'll figure out transmission tunnel rear floor plan and the fuel cell but uh yeah so definitely doable in six weeks i just got to make sure i get my butt out here <laughs> and get to work so uh we're out here this morning before it gets hot hopefully and uh we'll get after it and uh you know if you got any ideas on how to shortcut some time <laughs> any really i think the most time consuming thing is going to be the rear floor so if you got any good suggestions on easy way to make templates and stuff for that stuff let me know and uh all right so here's the hot side i did get it painted so uh i put in a, a flex joint right there and then i am kind of worried about the placement of my wastegate but that's really the only spot i had which uh it'd be much better if it was in line with the flow but uh hopefully since this one's coming in right here it's kind of on the same plane, so hopefully it'll still control. Uh, if not, we'll have to figure out something else. I might have to stick one over here somewhere. But anyway, uh, yeah, so as you can see, this definitely ain't the prettiest weld or anything, but nothing, <laughs> a little exhaust wrap won't cover up. So uh, we're gonna get on the exhaust wrap this morning, and uh, hopefully I have enough. I may not have enough, so uh, I'm gonna start with this side wrap this side and then uh, i can always wrap this side when it's on the i can always wrap this side if it's on, when it's on the car so uh for this morning's project you'll need some exhaust wrap some scissors to cut it with wire cutters for your metal tie wraps and gloves because this stuff is itchy but uh seriously uh this is all the stuff this is a leftover from the first time so hopefully it's enough and then i got some scissors some gloves and metal tie wraps uh, took a chance, got these from Harbor Freight. So uh, we'll see how they work. So uh, anyway, we'll get at it and I'll show you the end result here. All right, so got this thing wrapped. So I did run out of exhaust wrap, so I have to order a little more. But uh, you can see, got the short side there done. I got the crossover. Just got this little part to do. So uh, I may dig around, see if I have some other in the garage somewhere, but I don't think I do. But uh, I'll be able to wrap this while it's on the car, so I'm not too worried about it. So we're gonna get these tie wraps cut off and then get this thing installed and dig out the turbo, get it back on for reels this time. Hopefully I got the bolts I need. Yeah, one and thing before I put the exhaust in, I do have to finalize the ICT low mount alternator setup here. So uh, I wanna pull these back off and make sure I torque these to the right spec, which I'm not sure if I got the one behind the pulley. So I could take this off quick, retorque it get my grinder out we'll cut that guy off so it looks a little better and then we're gonna have to decide if we're gonna stay with my custom lug nut spacer which uh, I think I might it kind of goes with the theme of the car <laughs> but uh we'll dig through see if I have another bolt but I'm guessing that's gonna stay don't judge me too bad but uh, anyway I'm gonna get that off then the hot sun turbo all right so I got the belt stuff finalized so I cut this off a little still left a little bit out in case I need to do anything there and then this guy, uh, I never could get the bolt to go in proper, so I just cut about that much off of it. Still hot, and uh, bolted it in, so hopefully it'll be all right. But uh, this hole in my block has definitely got something going on. So uh, next time I have this all apart, I'll probably tap that hole and then replace that bolt if there's an issue. But if there's no issue, it'll probably just be what it is. So uh, let's go grab the hot side, get it put on, and I'll probably go ahead and put the intake on too. Get that cleaned up a little bit and get the intake on. Just so we'll be ready for all the other stuff that needs to go there. 
So we're about to put the intake on. I actually remembered to do my oil pressure sender. So uh, I run mechanical gauges in the car also, so I have backups. So if my computer's ever wonky or my screen, because I have a, a tablet in there for the, for the gauge screen for the micro squirt, but uh, if that ever goes, the battery's ever dead, I like having some mechanicals. So I, I run the oil pressure and temperature mechanical gauges also just as a backup. But uh, yeah, so we'll get these, make sure there's nothing in these paper towels. So I don't want to drop anything down and then have to pull ahead. And then, uh, cause I've had so much stuff laying on that motor. If you've looked, not the smartest, but uh, anyway, we'll do that. And then we'll get this intake on here. We almost had a catastrophe. <laughs> uh, I was pulling the paper towel out of this one. And there's an acorn in it. <laughs> so I guess that's from, I don't remember I don't know, that must have been a mice or mouse or something because I don't remember it being outside with the intake off for the tree to drop an acorn in there. So it must have had a mouse in the garage. But anyway, luckily it didn't go down there, so uh, we're good to go. This is my favorite part of the LS. Just about everything is just, you can ratchet down with either your good old Milwaukee or your Dewalt. You don't have to worry. I say that now. Watch me have a watch me have a leak. Intake is on, and now uh, I'm going to trim this guy down, so it looks a little more appealing. So I'm just going to cut it straight right here, and then we'll get the hot side and turbo. All right, got the hot side on for the final time. Bolts are tight. Uh, still got a. Get some more exhaust wrap over there. But you can see where it's exhaust wrapped, it actually looks pretty decent. And then, uh, luckily, my bolt hole still lines up. It's kind of hard to see. But my bolt hole still lines up with my turbo flange, so that's good. So uh, I'm going to take my headlight buckets out over there. This thing will focus. So I'll take my headlight buckets out, get those welded up, because right now they're just self tapped. Get those welded up, and then we'll get that put back on here. And uh, then we'll get the turbo mounted, and then we'll decide. I think we'll go go ahead and make the lower radiator intercooler mounts, which I've never done. I need to get that knocked out, and then that way I won't get everything done up front except for hanging the fenders. And I uh, will hang hang the fenders and do the rear floor last. And uh, you know, so we'll see how it goes. Anyway, we'll get at it. All right, got this thing drug outside, so. Uh, I gotta finish well that. I'm gonna do a bead right here. Just right now, I just have a self tapper in the front. And so I gotta get this cleaned up, welded right there. And this side, this is the bucket I got from Team D Performance. So I gotta get it sanded up and painted. And then same thing, I'll just grind it right there because it should be right there. And we'll just throw a little bead there. And then we'll get this thing sanded and painted. And then we'll get it hung back on the car. Probably gonna weld this to the car permanent this time. And then the next time I take the motor out, I'm just gonna cut this. So this part will be removable because uh, this will be the driver's side. Then on the passenger side, I'll show you, I'm gonna come off the turbo mount and mount to this somewhere over there. So it'll be nice and solid. But yeah, so we'll get this hung, get it welded up and then get it hung on the car, which should be good. All right, so I got the passenger side cleaned up and first coat of paint on it. So got that going, got some welding done, got the driver's side welded on, all that stuff. Uh, still got to paint that guy. I think while the weld's cooling and the paint's drying, I'm going to go and dig out the wiring harness maybe and find the headlights and all that. Happens. Well, I'm going to hold off because I want to do the radiator and stuff first. So anyway, still deciding on what I'm doing. So anyway, we're, we're still working. All right, so got that side welded, got some paint on it, got that side done. So uh, we're going to do a little more painting, and then we're going to go throw this on the car. While the paint's out there drying, I uh, went ahead and got the turbo, got it on. I actually had to change the center section around because actually the drain was at the top. But now I got that. I got to go find my bolts, which I don't remember where I put them. And uh, so I'll find my bolts, and then I'll got to move the cold side exit back to where it needs to be but uh yeah we'll get the bolts and then hopefully we'll have by the time we get this bolted on the paint will be dry enough we'll get that part on and we'll go weld it up right over there and then we'll do a brace off of here 
we'll leave this bolt out and we'll do a brace there to make sure it's good and yeah we'll keep at it all right so i couldn't find the bolt so i had to run to the hardware store but turbo's mounted uh still don't have this one tight just because that's going to come off and go to the radiator support also so uh, we've got the 78 millimeter turbo mounted hot sides mounted uh Wished I wouldn't have ran out of exhaust wrap, but I'll get I'll be able to wrap that on the car, so not a big deal. I'll just have an extra tie wrap on it, which I don't guess that's too big. Got the intake on for real, so uh, let's go grab the radiator support. I got it welded and painted, so uh, we're gonna go grab it, and we've got to weld it right there, and then make sure it's level, and come up with a bracket to go to this bolt. And yeah, pretty excited. Making so far no roadblocks today, so it's nice when stuffs just. When you just got to work and not mess with roadblocks, so we'll keep working. All right, so I was hoping to get away with not having to put the fenders on, but I don't think I'm going to be able to get this placed in the right spot. And since I'm fixing to do some welding, smart thing would be to get the fenders out. So uh, let me grab the fenders, get the bolts put in up top, and then uh, we'll extend them out and we'll see. All right, so we got the fenders bolted up. Got them going, so now we'll uh, figure out what we're going to do to make sure this thing's level and stuff. So, definitely going to weld that, you know, down there. I've already pointed that out. And then I'm going to have to come up with something to make the bolt from right here to right here just to support this side. And I think I'll go get the intercooler and get it in, make sure it's happy, and then we'll just figure out where this side needs to be height-wise. All right, so here's what we came up with. You know, just cut a little piece of tube, left the tab on it, we'll go bolt that to the turbo right there. We'll get this welded. Then that'll support it there, and that one supports it there. And then next time we take this apart, which hopefully will be a long time from now, I'm just going to cut this bar and sleeve it, and we'll have a bolt there. That way this part will be removable, just so we can, the motor comes in and out nice and easy. So that's the plan. So I'm going to get the welder, get this cleaned up, get it welded. We'll get that welded down there, and uh, then we'll probably go dig out the radiator, and then we'll figure out how we're going to make the bottom radiator mounts to support the radiator. So today had been going really well. Just hit our first roadblock, so got it mounted, got the radiator, <clears throat> and I, I was kind of worried about this, but when I remember I had to move my hot side because of my accessory drive, it did come out, so it's there's not enough room there for my fans so we're going to regroup come up with plan b and uh we may try to move all this stuff forward just a smidge but i really don't want to do that but i don't really see any other choice really uh yeah let me do some finagling and see what we can come up with so uh what we did is we tilted it's hard to tell but we tilted everything forward a little bit so it's still mounted the same place on the top but it's laid back and that gave me enough room which if you look i've got about a quarter of an inch between the heat wrap and the fan which we'll probably roll with hopefully it doesn't cook my fan motor but uh or melt all the plastic but uh we're gonna roll with that because that's what we got so i gotta figure out how to make some bottom mounts now to get the intercooler tilted out a little bit and also the uh radiator tilted out a little bit so we'll get to looking at that, probably get the pipe bender out maybe. I've got some of the one inch bar left. That's still a little warm. So I've got some one inch bar left, so I'll try to use that and just attach it here and bend it. So we're gonna stop the video here for today. It's probably a little shorter one, but uh, it's like cooking hot out here. So I'm gonna go relax. Uh, so next video, we'll finish up these bottom mounts, knock that out and uh, then we're gonna start wiring this thing. Uh, we'll get the headlight buckets in, headlights, uh, engine harness, all that happy stuff. So uh, looking forward to that part, doing something different for a little bit. And we'll try to get it all wired up and then get the, we'll figure out the fuel cell on the back. And then we'll try to get this thing to actually spin the turbo. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, if you got any ideas on how to do stuff better, always drop me a comment. Uh, any helps appreciated. All right, we'll talk to y'all later.